Today's tip is about FX55. Now the original formula by Crawley asks for sodium ascorbate as one of the developing agents, sodium ascorbate and phenidone. But some of us don't have sodium ascorbate. We only have ascorbic acid. Now they're both types of vitamin C, but the difference is this is an acid. This is a pH of around about three, whereas sodium ascorbate is roughly neutral. So if I put this into my FX55 developer, I'm going to change the whole pH of the developer and it will be ruined. So how can I use this in my FX55? Well, actually, there's a very straightforward way, and I want to show you that for today's Friday tip. I've measured out two chemicals here. One is ascorbic acid, and I've measured out 1.2 grams of this chemical. And the other one is sodium bicarbonate. It's common. You get it in the kitchen for baking. Um, you can order it in a much more pure form, which is what I've got here. A word of warning, the stuff you buy for your kitchen may be full of fillers and aluminium. So you might not want to use that. I ordered this online from Amazon. It was very reasonably priced indeed, and it's 99.9% .9 pure. So sodium bicarbonate, and here I've measured out 0 0.7 grams of that chemical. Now, these two have to be added together, and when you add them together, they actually create sodium ascorbate, some carbon dioxide that fizzes, and water. So what I do is I get myself 100 milliliters of hand-hot water. The first thing is to put in your 1.2 grams of ascorbic acid. Just pop it in the water there and dissolve it. Make sure it's all gone into solution. A few little bits, just crush them up. And it's dissolved. And now I add my 0.7 grams of sodium bicarbonate. Now it fizzes as it's dissolving, which is to be expected. That's the reaction between it and the ascorbic acid. Now the sodium bicarbonate is providing the sodium ions, which will be attaching to the ascorbic acid and creating our sodium ascorbate. It's having a good old fizz there. Now, when I first tested this, it didn't work very well. It did work, and I got some development, but my negatives were very thin, and I couldn't understand why. According to the molar values, this is correct. But what I found was I needed to leave this sitting for 10 minutes and give it the occasional stir. And over that period, you get the full conversion of the ascorbic acid and sodium bicarbonate into sodium ascorbate. And what you get at the end is approximately 1.3 grams of sodium ascorbate. And that's exactly the amount you need to make one liter of working developer with FX55. Don't forget, you're going to have to also add your phenidone. So I use this as part of my dilution of the FX55 part A. I'm, I dilute the part A into my solution. I make about 600 mils with the diluted part A. I then add this, that makes 700 mils, and then I top it up to the one litre mark. And then I add my phenidone, mix that in, and I've got my working developer. Now, those of you who are chemists will note that if you go back to the molar values of these two chemicals, that I've added a little bit too much sodium bicarbonate. And the reason I've done that is to put more sodium ions into the solution so that I get a full, complete conversion. I found that if I added exactly the right amounts, I wasn't quite getting 
all the sodium ascorbate I thought I was. So with that added sodium ion pressure on the reaction, it gets completely done in 10 minutes and I'm ready to use the developer. And if you're only using 500 mil of developer, because you're only doing say one film, then I'll only add half of this that I've just made. So I'm going to quickly add 50 mil. There we are, 50 mil of that into our working developer. And then I'm going to top it up to 500 mil. Don't forget to add your phenidone. I hope that helps. If for those of you who only have ascorbic acid, this is great. You can use this in your paper developer, E72. And now you can use it in your FX55. I believe that sodium ascorbate gives FX55 a better tonal range than using ascorbic acid with the gainer mod. So this is why I wanted you to know all about this tip. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see you next week.